Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. I am stranded, stuck in a Tennessee snowstorm. So I'm gonna be making over an all white piece that has been inspired by the snow and I'm trying out Silk, a new one-step paint on the market for the first time. So if you wanna see this makeover, just keep watching. Here's my piece that I'll be working on today. This is the sister piece to the nightstand that I did last week. And I'm gonna be trying out Silk all in one paint for the first time today. This is a new paint line brought to you by Dixie Belle Paint Company who is sponsoring this video today. And just like all my Dixie Belle videos, they will be giving away a $100 credit to their website today. All you have to do is comment down below what Dixie Belle product you would like to try and make sure you're subscribed to this channel and Dixie Belle's YouTube channel and you will be entered. I'm gonna start by removing all my hardware because I'm gonna replace that and I'm gonna give my piece a good cleaning with some Dixie Belle White Lightning. This is a TSP based soap, so you need to wear gloves. When you're using it, you just dissolve about a tablespoon in a gallon of warm water, wipe it all over your piece, and then once it's clean, you come back in with clean water and rinse that off. Just like the piece I did last week, this has lots of little fake wormholes in it. So I'm gonna take my Dixie Mud and brown and fill all those in. Depending on the temperature, I let this dry for about two to four hours before I sand it. This piece also had a big chunk out of the top. So I'm gonna use a silicone mold and my Bondo process to repair that. I have a full video on this if you guys are interested in watching it. But all you do is take the silicone mold, mix it together in two parts, and then put it on the piece that you're trying to recreate. So I did this on the other side of the top. I let it dry for about 20 minutes, then removed it and cut off the end piece so I could flip it and create a new piece for this side. For this part, you wanna use a really strong epoxy or two part wood filler. Once I have that all mixed up, I just add it to my mold and then place it on my piece. This stuff sets up really quickly, but when I'm doing a big repair like this, I typically let it set overnight, and then I come back in with a wood rasp and shave down as much as I can, and then sand it to be nice and smooth with the piece. Now I'm gonna sand down all my wood filler and also give this piece a scuff sand. At the same time, I'm using my surf prep sander with a super fine half inch foam abrasive. I am working with that new silk all-in-one paint today, and Dixie Belle recommends cleaning and scuff sanding your piece for this paint. If you don't have a powered or orbital sander, you can do this by hand with a 220 sandpaper. You're not stripping off the finish here, you're just giving it a light scuff to give the paint something to stick to. After I was done sanding, I removed all my drawers and set those aside to paint separately. And then I wiped everything down with my tack cloth to get that dust up, but mine was still really dusty. So I came in with some cleaner again and some clean water to get all that dust off. Typically, you're not gonna have to do this. It's just the finish that's on my piece. I'm also drying off my piece really well because this new silk line likes to be dry, does not like water. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but this is the new silk line that Dixie Belle is launching. 20 beautiful neutral colors right up my alley. This is an all-in-one paint. I'm gonna be painting in white cap today, which is the brightest white in this line. The Silk Line is currently available at all the elite Dixie Bell retailers and all the retailers are gonna have it next week and then it's gonna be up on Dixie Bell's website the first week of March, so keep your eyes peeled for that. This paint is gonna be applied best with a dry synthetic brush. I'm gonna be using my Dixie Bell Mini today. So let's talk about all the ways that this paint is different from the chalk mineral line that you're used to from Dixie Bell. This paint, you are not going to use water. So put your mister away. You want a dry brush. You're not gonna add any water to the paint. 
This is an all-in-one mineral paint, so you're actually priming, adding color, and sealing it all at the same time. We're not going to have to add a separate top coat. When I'm working with a paint like this, I find that you have to use more paint than you're used to using when you're using a chalk mineral paint, so I really load my brush up more than you typically would with a chalk style type paint. You also don't want to overwork this paint. Um, after about a minute, you don't want to go back and touch any spots because you will kind of just mess up your finish and create a lot of brush strokes. And with this paint, they do recommend deglossing your piece by doing a light scuff sand with the chalk mineral paint. You don't always have to do that unless you have a really slick surface. Cooler temperatures or higher humidity can prolong your drying time with this paint, but I have a nice heated garage now, so mine dried within two hours and I was ready to recoat. In between coats, I'm just taking a 320 very fine sanding block and just sanding down my flat surfaces because I want to have a really smooth look. This is going to help alleviate some of those brush strokes. And then I'm just wiping back my dust with a rag before I add that second coat. So this is a learning curve for me going from, you know, being the chalk style paint person. That's what I started out with. That's what I'm used to. But these all-in-one paints just save you so much time and the coverage on them is a lot better than a chalk style type paint. I watched a lot of videos before using this paint from Dixie Belle Ambassadors. I'm going to link my two friends below, Brush by Brandy and Bella Renovare by Cristana because they know all the ins and outs. They have had the training on this. So I definitely recommend watching their videos before trying. So once my second coat dried, my cracks in my piece were really noticeable. So I wanted to fill these in with a caulk. This is a great way to kind of just hide and conceal those cracks and make your piece look nice and smooth and modern. And this is paintable, so you could do this at the beginning of your project since it's white and I'm doing a third coat. I know I'm going to be able to cover that up. I'm having to do a third coat and I even did like fourth coat touch-ups because I'm going from a black piece to a pure white piece. If your piece is lighter or if you're using a more pigmented color, you will not have to do that many coats. Like I said, we do not have to top coat this. This is going to cure down in 21 to 30 days, give you a really strong coating with a matte finish. It's going to have really good durability, washable, water, mildew, and grease resistant. Lucky for me, I stocked up on some knobs from Hobby Lobby during the 50% off sale last week. So I got these for $3 a piece and all this beautiful bright white snow has inspired me to do a white on white look, but I love that they have a little gold accent to give it a little something. This paint also has UV protectant in it and I didn't have to top coat it, so I don't have to worry about yellowing. This piece is complete. Just to remind you, here is what I started off with and here it is now. I'm definitely digging on this fresh white look inspired by the snowstorm. I had a lot of fun trying out silk and I definitely want to try to spray it in the future because I feel like this paint would spray amazing. Thanks for joining me today. If you are snowed in as well, check out some of my other videos. I will be back next week with another project. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time.